Greetings. If you're an amateur astronomer, you know that the most satisfying thing that you can do with your telescope is not look through your telescope. It is to let someone else look through your telescope. I, now, you hold my arm, not the telescope. Hold my arm and you look through right there. Wow! You can, you can see the moon. You can see the moon? Yes. Okay. Look! That's right. Finally. Finally, look. Yes, that's the moon. You know exactly. If you're an astronomer and you're involved in outreach events, introducing other people to the hobby of astronomy, the Astronomical League would like to recognize you with the outreach award program and this video is going to share some things about how you can uh, apply for this award and what this award program involves my name is maynard pittendre and i am the astronomical league's national coordinator of the outreach uh, uh, award program uh, you can send me a submission for your award, or if you're an officer in your club, your local astronomy club, then you can send me submissions on behalf of other people. There are some clubs that surprise their members who participate in outreach events as a way of thanking them for their support. And so you can either do this as an individual or as a club, you can send me a set of individual submissions. Now, the requirements are very, very simple. First, you need to be a member of the Astronomical League. Now, you either join a local club that's part of the Astronomical League or you can become a member at large. Uh, the second thing you need to do is to set up some outreach events and participate in them. If your club is doing outreach programs, it's easy. You just join in the fun and participate in those programs that they've already set up. Or if you're working as an individual, uh, you have to set up those outreach events yourself. Um, and then the third thing is you just got to keep track of your uh, activities and outreach and uh, send them to me. Now, if you visit the Astronomical League's web pages and go to the observing programs, you will find there are over 60 observing programs. The Mege observing program, double star programs, binocular programs, all sorts of very advanced and basic programs, something for everybody. And among those programs is the uh, Outreach Award Program. Now you open that page and you'll find a link to an Excel submission form. It opens with instructions, uh, but to fill out the data, be sure to click the Data File tab at the bottom of the page. Start filling out this Excel sheet with your name, your address, other information. If you have already received one or more of the levels of the Outreach Award, you will want to add your number from your certificate. Yeah. Now, each time you uh, engage in some outreach event, go to the submission form and keep a running track of every single event. Uh, the first thing you need to do is put down the number of the event sequentially. One, two, three, that's simple. And then what you want to do is to put the level. Uh, is this for the basic level for outreach, stellar, or master? Uh, the next thing you want to do is to put down the date of the event. And then you want to give the location of the event. And then a little description of the event. Not a very detailed description, but uh, maybe observed Mars and Jupiter and Saturn, worked with children, worked with Cub Scouts, something like that. Then give the time. It began at 7 p.m. and went on until midnight. 
then the duration, how many hours did this take? And you can submit in increments of a uh, quarter of an hour. You don't have to be uh, more precise than that. And then you want to give the number of participants. I know this is a challenge. If you're a club, someone might be registering people. But if you're doing uh, a sort of a drop-in um, sidewalk astronomy type of event, uh, it might be a challenge for you to keep up. Just be as accurate as you can. Now, when you reach your goal for a particular level, uh, go ahead and send me the submission. You don't have to send all three of them in. And it may be that you uh, are only interested in uh, the first or the second level. So that's fine. If you do submit all three, you'll get three certificates and two pins. Um, so it doesn't matter to me whether you uh, send one, two, or all three levels in at the same time. Email it to me if you can. It makes my job easier. But if you need to use the post office, that's fine as well. Now the first thing that I need to do is to confirm that you are currently a member of the Astronomical League. I communicate with the national office. That will take a day or two to confirm that. And as soon as I can, and as soon as I can check uh, your activities and to make sure everything is in order, I will send you your certificate. And for the first and the master level, I'll send a pin as well. Now that's the simple process of how to make a submission for this award. Let me answer some of the questions that I've gotten over the years about this. Number one, what is outreach? Well, outreach is any activity in which you share the hobby of astronomy with people. Uh, you might set up the telescope in your front yard on Halloween. You might set up a sidewalk astronomy at a bar or restaurant, uh, as long as you check with the management on that. School programs, uh, scouting programs, church programs, all sorts of organizations are interested in having astronomy outreach events. Uh, you would be amazed at the wide range of activities I've seen submitted on these awards. Uh, do you have to look through the telescope? And the answer is no. Uh, if you plan an activity at a school and your club goes there and it rains, but the kids are there, go inside and do something. Uh, talk to them about the, the mysteries of the universe. Answer questions. I have seen people set up telescopes inside the hallway at one end and at the far end of the hallway they've got a picture of Mars and the kids look through the telescope. They know it's a picture of Mars but they get to actually see through the telescope and that's the first time many of them have ever actually put an eye to the eyepiece. Here's a question. When I make the submission do I count the time I spend setting up and breaking down and, and cleaning up? And the answer is no. Uh, only the time when the outreach program is uh, working with the participants. Now the setup time and, and taking down stuff and cleaning up, that's very, very important. But think about Alan Shepard, Mercury astronaut. Uh, later went to the moon as well, but right after his Mercury flight, he was credited with 15 minutes of suborbital flight, 15 minutes in space. All those years of preparation, they didn't count that. So that's what you do with the submission form. Just count the actual outreach sure. times. Well, then what about online activities? Does that count? Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Right now, I'm doing a YouTube presentation. Does that count as outreach? No, because there's no interaction in real time. But if I were to do a Zoom meeting with introducing people to astronomy, and people can interact with me in real time, yes, that is outreach. Here's a good question. 
individuals can get the award, can clubs? And the answer is no, at least not at this time. I know that some clubs really deserve recognition for the outstanding work that they've done in outreach. But this award is designed for the individual. Can I submit any event that I've ever done? Well, yes, up to a point. This program was uh, started January 1, 2006. So if you've got events before that, you can't include that. But if you've kept a diary, or if you go back to your old uh, club newsletters, or if you've kept records for years, uh, yes, you can send those with a submission as long as it's after January 1, 2006. One of the most important questions that I have ever received is, I know that the outreach program is primarily working with youth. Can I include adults as well? Yes! It's not just for young people. It's for families of every age. It's for the elderly people. It's for everyone. So anytime you've worked with any age group, by all means count it. And I get a lot of submissions that indicate that they've done outreach program at senior citizens' homes and retirement communities. So yes, that absolutely counts. Now, once again, what are the different levels of the outreach program? First is the basic one, the outreach award. You need a minimum of five events. Each event must be at least two hours in length. The next level is the stellar level. That means you've done the outreach basic level, plus you must do 50 additional hours in events. And then there's the level of the master. And that means you got to do the outreach level and the stellar level. And in addition to that, you must do 100 additional hours and events. If the events in the outreach level require two hours, what about the others? What if I do one event for an hour and a half or one hour? That'll count. What we're trying to establish is a habit of not letting uh, a five-minute event in your front yard on Halloween and then uh, it begins to rain, so you've only been out there for five minutes, you bring your telescope in, you can't count that. We want something of substance. We're more strict on the first level, but after that, we just expect a reasonable length of time. So if it ends up uh, an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes uh, on those second and third levels, that'll be fine. Even after you earn all three levels of the Outreach Award. I hope that you'll continue to be engaged in outreach. There is nothing more satisfying than helping someone look through a telescope and see the moon for the very first time. You see the moon in the sky? Where's the telescope, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the moon. Go, go look at it. Where's the moon? See the moon? Telescope moon. And where's the moon? Uh, uh, there it is up there. And there it is right there too. There's the moon too. This is that up there. Uh, moon. Yeah, where's okay. the... Outside, that's right. Yeah. Moon? Telescope? 